friend. Two men face charges, but the criminal complaint points to lies others told, and for that, Kanaya Brunson's mom is pressing ahead. Kanaya Brunson turned 20 in June, a joy to be around. She can make you smile right away. Brunson wanted to be an orthodontist or a vet, later learning she was good at making others look good, so she enrolled in beauty school. She actually taught me how to put on eyelashes and do my eyebrows. This is Brunson leaving home the morning of September 24th, texting her mom a smiley. I wasn't even there 30 minutes and they called and told me her car was found. And I knew then at that point, like something happened to her. The day of the murder, police say Brunson met up with a married man she'd been seeing, Sutan Sharif. Strangely, he'd reached out to Brunson's mom a week earlier. He goes on to say, I want to be done messing with your daughter, but she's reaching out to my wife. September 24th, a friend of Sharif's called 911 after he says he saw Sharif on top of the victim in Sharif's car and that the female stated, he cut my throat. She was screaming and pleading for help. Police didn't locate the two. Oh, yes, it's the date mass. And yes, we're back again. Make sure when you come in, you see the premiere, you hit that notification. I mean, the subscribe button, then the like button, then the notification bell. So you'll be notified anytime I, I drop a new video. We have a very interesting topic today. Very interesting situation that happened in Milwaukee. And I want you to. Read in between the lines and look at all of the elements at play here. You have Kanaya Brunson, just now 20 years old, you know, may she rest in peace, being deleted by her middle-aged married sugar daddy. So as the story unfolds, it appears that they had an affair and I'm going to break down the dynamics of this affair. Again, this is a 19-year-old, now 20, girl dealing with a man who's in his 40s. And you know, more likely he's sexually experienced. She's more He's more sexually seasoned than she is. So this is another tale of a, a young chick getting digmatized. And because she's not getting the priority or the number one spot, he could have possibly been saying he's going to leave his wife. He's going to do this to keep her enticed. And then he began to renege. So she stated she's going to tell his wife. Now, let's look at him being in this beta male position to where he ruined three people's life. Well, actually four. He pretty much deleted Kanaya Brunson, her family, his wife and his own. Out of fear that his wife would find out that he has a younger, more tender side chick. Now, him being in his blue pill uh, mindset did not know that this more likely would have worked in his favor to his woman, seeing that he's able to attract a much younger, more appealing woman than herself. Because I'm sure his wife is not 20 years old. But nonetheless, his rage and fear out of his wife finding out because in these dynamics you'll notice the husband usually fear has a fear of the wife leaving or a fear of the wife in general when it is a 50 50 relationship or when he's overly insecure about himself that his wife completes him meaning he finds pride in his wife you can see this in the cuckold dynamic where the man is the paymaster, he's he has all the financial resources, but he does not have the charisma, the pill to keep his wife sexually intrigued and aroused. So he propositions his his wife off to the world to see to put off that he has a trophy wife. So other men can gawk and shoot their shot and in some cases have a sexual relationship with his wife. And he knows about this, but he, he cannot do anything because the only thing that he has is money. Therefore, he's poor. Because the only thing he has is money. A money does not give a woman an orgasm. But this man had so much fear for his wife finding out that he was cheating rather than going through the divorce 
or separation or the period in which she will be angry but in more cases than not will still come back because she's not going to have any options either you go and take this woman's life and in these scenarios there are no innocent victims there are no innocent victims here um she did not have to pay for this with her life but again Ask yourself, what type of mindset does a 19 to 20 year old girl have to say, I'm going to date a married 40 plus year old man with confidence and then the confidence to say, if you don't comply with my demands, I'm going to tear your wife. It seems like she either has been here before or she's been given some game as to how to get resources out of this married man. If you don't comply with my demands, he's like, okay, babe, I, I can't do that. I'm going to have to cut you off because you're trying to hit my pockets. So it's a lot of different elements at play. But the one element was, where is her father? Again, you see the news report. I believe you see the mother um, speak out in, in regards to what he stated. He initially went to the mother to advise of her, her daughter's behavior. Now, what kind of man goes to the mother of a woman telling her what she is about and what she's doing and the mother does not already know in advance? She already know. She more likely gave her the the game to do this, the information, the, the guidance on how to try to pull these type of men, married men with something to lose. He could not take the loss he was going to endure, so he had to act out of emotion. And now it cost him his life. This is what happens when you get into situations that are not upright. Again, I used to, the sneaking around, the, I, I, I did a lot of that. You know, doing the low key. That's cool, it's fun, but... There is no reward. <clears throat> you, There is no reward here. In a lot of cases, you can lose your life if you do not think. Notice how I said think. A lot of these scenarios are navigated with feelings, not not logic and thought, uh, a logical thought process. It's just, I feel like I want to see you, so let's, let's do this. Let's meet here. Let's do this, despite any threat or the possibility of being caught it is the feeling of excitement that entices men and women to engage in these things but they can be costly it is very difficult and it is a hard discipline to have to walk right and not continue to be a whoremonger again a lot of guys you're going through that red pill rage the red pill has been a very hot topic lately and people are trying to to relabel it because of the behavior that is following it the raging the spazzing out on women out of nowhere the disrespecting of women out of nowhere the constant victim blaming and f finger pointing it is becoming old but for you ladies that see this video i know a lot of ladies that deal with married men a lot of them won't admit but or they would do it and they'll say they didn't know. Yes, you did. Yes, the fuck you did. It is very rare a woman does not know what she's doing. It is all about how she feels about doing it in that moment. Which is why sometimes you may just have a one hit or quitter. You may have a one, two, you may have a one, two, three, Pete. All of these women are not meant to be in your life permanently. Some. Some of these women are just for good times and it's because they had a certain urge, a certain feeling they needed to experience. And once that feeling is, is gone, so is that connection. So is the likelihood that that will happen again. Now, depending on the experience and how that made her feel, she may double back to get that feeling again. You follow. But this can go the other way as well. You have men who have been killed. You have men that have been killed and set up by being with another man's um, wife. You know, but in most cases, a lot of the times, this is how the cheating dynamic, it works, but not in the same factor because she threatened to tell his wife he had to neutralize the situation. 
the way women cheat, they do not cheat with a man of weaker emotion than her husband. So the threat of him going to expose her is less than likely because he doesn't want the full time obligation. He usually just wants access to the box. So he's not going to change the dynamic. He likes it how everything is. He he gets the call when to be ready, go out of town, et cetera, et cetera. He doesn't have he gets full time benefits with half time work. If that makes sense. So it's less likely that the man will even expose the woman to her husband because it will mess up the good thing that he has developed. So it'll be, it will be very rare for a man to go and expose unless he again, some women, again, they cheat. This is a it's, it's a twisted um, science that women use. They know how to cheat with men for the emotional establishment as well to monkey branch so it doesn't always go where she chooses the right man to cheat with again some women are better than others in making this selection some women will cheat with a man because she's looking to pretty much trend do a relationship transition meaning she's going to basically get out of this one and get into a brand new relationship while it's in motion like jumping out of one moving car and jumping into another moving car like a stunt double like it like it's a stunt so she may choose a weaker man and he may be growing impatient with the process. So in that case, he will go and blow the lid. But this is, again, a cautionary tale. You know, this woman lost her life because she got in over her head. She thought she can corral this middle aged man with something to lose and it backfired. But uh, rest in peace to her family. Again, this is a. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of things at play. This man was so fearful that his wife would find out that he had a younger woman. He said he's going to kill the younger woman and throw his entire life away. This is where we are. But you guys, let me know what you think about the video. Like, comment, subscribe. It's today, Master.